Welcome back, TNJ Radio fans. This is LeRon J uh, coming back with y'all with another video. And, um, you know, this this article touched me on the New York Post um, about the black on black violence. And for the, our fans that watch our show, we definitely touch on black on black violence a lot. Um, I think it gets swept under the rug with among Democrats. And it's a, it's a real problem when people get shot. You know, by police, we have parades and violent uh, acts out there trying to show support. Um, but when it's black on black violence, it gets quiet. Up. I mean, I, I know so many people um, just from you know living life that got killed by another black person, and it touches me. So, I wanted to touch on this uh, situation. Um, this mother is fighting black on black violence and wants police support. Now, Sylvia Bennett Stone, she formed a uh, Voices of Black Mothers united after her daughter was slain in a gang crossfire in Alabama. The group is firmly against uh, defunding the police. Now, in the United States, the second leading cause of death for black girls under the age of 20 is homicide. No other female group in this country has such a high risk of being killed. In 2020, when homicide rates exploded across the country, at least four black females on average were killed a day. Think about that. I'll repeat that. Four black females on average were killed per day. In a just world, this would be considered a grave epidemic, warranting a national reckoning but in our culture it has been ignored now stone has been um you know working hard over the past years to amplify the voice of black mothers who have lost their uh, child to gang violence now cynthia lost her 19 year old daughter in 2004 when she was sitting in her car at the gas station at uh, fairfax alabama and caught in a gang crossfire one bullet shot through her car window and pierced her torso before entering her friend's heart. Now Sylvia's daughter was killed instantly and her friend later died in the hospital. Her killer who had two prior murder charges was caught and admitted responsibility but was bizarrely acquitted because the weapon could not be located. Now, Cynthia is still angry at this lack of media coverage over her daughter's slaying. Fortunately, Sylvia's organization is proactively seeking to reform uh, crime-written communities from the ground up. Her efforts include empowering black mothers to routinely check on vulnerable young youth in their neighborhoods, taking families of victims on spiritual retreats, and the stagonizing mental health problems in the black community now that's amazing you know I'm, I'm definitely going to have to check out uh what this woman is going through and how she's trying to help the community because this is ridiculous um the only way this stuff can be deterred is is everybody who's in the neighborhood they have to take back their neighborhood they have to uh what you call other people call snitching but you have to report these things happening it's, it's a hard pill to swallow the fact that you know there are a, quite a few you know black individuals that's not right you know not mentally right their mental health is off they have a lot of anger issues and we have a lot of bullies when it comes to these black communities the other alternative is it is just to move out because if this is going to go on there's going to be some casualties so the best thing you can do is try to um, increase your income, you know, get married, move out the neighborhood, get into a safer neighborhood where people care about their lives, and and that would be that. But if you're trying to combat uh, this mental situation that we have in the black community, so it's not just black communities, but we're just talking about black communities at this time, um, you have to fight against them. You have to fight back. And it's scary. Like I said, some people's going to get, some people's going to die trying to do this but we have a lot of bullies we have a lot of gangs in these neighborhoods and it's just straight satan um attacking the neighborhoods 
and you can't be nice with it. You have to fight back with the same energy that they fight, you know. I mean, because they don't care. And the scariest thing that you, you have with, with human beings is someone who don't care. I'll call them kamikaze. Like, they don't care about their life. Why would they care about yours or anybody else? You know, I read a story recently where this guy was walking down the street with his five-year-old son and holding another uh, stroller, and he gets shot and killed right in front of the five-year-old. So, with that being said, definitely uh, be praying for the families that are victims of slain family members. So, tell me what you think about this article. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you on the next video.